Good morning ladies and gents, today BSG are releasing a new patch for Arena, however there will also be some changes that will be related to Tarkov, so I'm gonna go through all of them and uh, let you know what's new in this patch. But first of all, let's watch, let's watch, let's watch a quick trailer of the new in-game uh, map on Arena, Fort, and the new game mode, Checkpoint. New map for who New game mode checkpoint, yes. New in-game grenade called V40, I believe. It's literally this small. It is coming to Arena in this current patch, and it's coming to Tarkov later on in the game. We're going to talk about this grenade a little bit more when we get to the patch notes. Same about this nade, uh, M18, or whatever it's called. It's a yellow smoke nade, which uh, expands really, really quick. Also getting added to Arena now and uh, getting added to the Tarkov a little bit later. Alright, so this was, this was the trailer. Let's go through the patch notes. There's a lot of interesting things. And uh, first of all, new location for it. New location is added for Blast Gang and Checkpoint game modes. In the future updates, this location will also be available for other mods. Um, yeah, description of location. Mid-19th century fort was named in the honor of Emperor Nicholas I. Then it became a prison. New game mode checkpoint. Added an unranked team deathmatch mode with respawns, the goal of which is to hold objective points on the map. Basically, it's like domination from Call of Duty. This mode will be available in following locations Bay 5, Bowl, and Fort. EFT task synchronization. Finally, finally. Restore the task synchronization between EFT and Arena. So finally now when you're doing a referee quest or doing an Arena daily or weekly, all of your XP is going to be transferred to the Tarkov instantly and the quest is going to count. Yes, we've been waiting for it. Here it is. Fix the known issues that were causing desynchronization between profiles in games and players who lost progress as a result of these issues will be compensated shortly. So, long story short, if you did do the quest and didn't get anything, you should get some sort of a re reward from BSG, whether it's going to be XP, items, or some rubles. So, good, good for you, I guess. Um, next point. Tactical clothing synchronization. This is a big one, and I'll tell you why. Edit clothing synchronization between EFT and EFT Arena. If a player purchases clothes in EFT, they can be used in EFT Arena to create presets. Clothes bought in EFT Arena can also be used in EFT. Added Bragman to EFT. Arena for purchasing outfits. Actually, yeah, yeah. Um, his services are limited to the tactical clothing. Some clothing like Use a Chameleon is not available um, for use in EFT Arena. Um, use a Chameleon looks like this. It's literally a um, blue top. And the reason they don't add it because in Arena you can have different armbands. And uh, if you have red armbands, this might be confusing. And if you have blue armbands, they might not see your armband on your arms and confuse it as well. So tops like this will not be added to Arena, but um, but whatever. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Unique Scav and Raider starter outfits will only be available in the FT Arena. So if you unlock uh, Scav outfits, you will not be able to use them on Tarkov. Temporal disabled synchronization and the ability to purchase the following clothing in the FT Arena. Clothing purchasable on the website for real money, which you can buy on the scale from Tarkov.com. Clothing rewards for achievements. For example, kill a tracksuit um, is not available in Arena. And clothing added to escape from Tarkov after patch 0.14.5. So two new sets for each of the um, faction. One for Bear, one for Yusek. So why is this a big thing? All right, so it's a big thing due to this roadmap. We are in a weird place because we're in uh, 0.15.5 with all the new mechanics, weapons, in-game events, but the unity has not been added. And uh, either way, either way, all right. So long story short, the most important thing is this battle pass system, which is added, which has been added in 0.2.5 uh, um, because People were speculating what Battle Pass system is going to get us. I was saying is we're going to get new skins. We're going to get new clothing, PMC skins in Arena. 
uh, but there was no mechanism for us to buy something in arena and transfer this to Tarkov if it's clothing. And here is this uh, new mechanism, basically. Whatever you buy in the FT arena, you can also wear it in Tarkov. So basically, this is like a hint, I think a fat hint, that we're going to be getting um, skins whenever Battle Pass system is released. So you buy Battle Pass for real money for arena. You unlock something cool in there and you can wear that in Tarkov. So that's how it's going to be. Obviously, Battle Pass should include something else. I don't know if it's going to include different XP bonuses, maybe some weapon skins even. Because, for example, if you go to the flea market and you search Desert Eagle, um, there is few types of Desert Eagles in the game. And um, one of them is actually obtainable only from the... Um, what's the name? The bosses? Only from um, the roaming rogues. So this is the Desert Eagle you can get from Rogue's bosses and it looks different, has like a zebra pattern and it's possible that more guns like this are going to be coming into the game. I don't know, it's just speculation. I am pretty sure about the PMC skins that we're getting that in Battle Pass, but I'm not sure about this. Either way, let's keep on going through the patch notes and see what's coming next. Yep, in the future updates, clothing synchronization will be improved to allow players to buy and use all available clothing sets in both projects in different ways. Okay, cool. V40 mini grenade. Um, at the V40 mini grenade, its damage capabilities are much lower than the classic frag grenades. The V40 will replace RGD5 and F1 grenades in Blast Gang and Teamfight modes. This addition is aimed at reducing the number of unintended deaths from grenades in matches. So, it's the small nade we've seen right here. This one. This is the nade, it's really tiny. Nikita on the podcast said that it's gonna be a bit bigger than shown in the trailer, maybe like 10, 20, 30% bigger. Uh, but yeah, it's been added to Arena now and being, it's gonna be added to Tarkov later on. M18 smoke grenade yellow. Added the yellow colored M18 smoke grenade to Blast Gang mode on allocation. The grenade features increased smoke release speed, increased smoke density, and smoke now fills the space around it. This addition and rework of the smoke system is aimed at improving the tactical component of the game. We're aware of a number of visual issues with the operation of M18 um, and are working on a fix. Okay. Location map in observer mode. Added a minimap in the top corner on the screen for observer mode. This map is available in Blast Gang mode. The map shows player movement, shooting, spawn points, device planning points, device, etc. So this is a big thing for casting tournaments because if you watch arena tournaments, before it was really tough to tell what's going on. But now you can see players with wall hack and you will also be able to see where everybody's at with minimap. Uh, that's really good for the tournaments. I'm, I'm happy that BG adding it. I think uh, this was long due. Great thing, great thing. The new minimap can be expanded in the full map by pressing the key... Z and the map is added primarily for tournaments and exploring locations. In the future, the minimap will be available in observer mode for team fight mode. Maintenance work added the feature of displaying server maintenance work or loss of connection to the server or internet in the game client. The maintenance bar will be displayed along the entire length of the header on all screens in the game. Not entirely sure what it means, but I guess if something happens and we get disconnected from the game, we will get more information about why we got disconnected. Tab screen, added a tab screen window to all game modes. Uh, the window duplicates information from the Teams tab in the player's inventory. Holding the tab key opens it, releasing the tab key closes it. While the tab screen window is open, you can move and shoot. So this is actually interesting. I wonder if in the future we'll be able to do this in Tarkov. So long story short, you can hold tab and maybe change some items in your backpack, replace the nades. Um, change the location of your mags in your rig while still moving and running, you know, the way it works in DayZ, for example, that'd be kind of neat. So you can do different things while running and moving in the game. Round and match MVP system. Mm. Round MVP is awarded at the end of the round for the player's contribution to the victory. Basically, usual MVP thing that gives you bonuses at the end of the game. Economics. So this is quite important because early wipe people were grinding arena to get different um, bonuses like cash and XP. And all of this has been nerfed. So next wipe you will not be able to level up as fast using arena as this one. And here are the nerfs. So basically cash price is reduced by 15 to 20 percent. And uh, experience is reduced by 20 percent, roughly 20 percent. Yeah. So um, here we go, 20% reduction in XP and uh, in um, rubles. I'm not going to go through all of this, but if you want to, feel free to read, to read it. And list of fixes. 
Well, all of this is more or less fixes to Arenum. I'm not really sure if a lot of people are interested in it, but um, here they are, if you want to read them for yourself. And uh, yeah, a lot of those things are coming to Tarkov sooner or later, and I'm really excited about it. So once again, if you still haven't, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Enjoy your day, ladies and gents.